Dr. Anthony Fauci admitting over the weekend he moved the goalposts on the numbers needed for COVID herd immunity. Watch. I would imagine that you would need something a little bit less than the 90%. That's where I got to the 85. Bottom line is, it's a guesstimate. I gave a range, and I use any discussion like we're having now, Dana, to mm -hmm. encourage people to get to that goal of 70 to 85 percent of the people vaccinated. That's where we really want to be. Joining me now is Fox News contributor and media and politics columnist for The Hill, Joe Concha. Joe, thanks so much for being here on this Monday. Uh, you just heard Dr. Fauci. What's your takeaway from that? Well, I think that Dr. Fauci needs to be more careful with his language. When you start talking about guesstimates, when you start saying that you deliberately move the goalposts, you're no longer the top infectious disease doctor in the U.S. working off the data and working off the science. You're now just another guy on TV throwing darts. And, and look, I think also Dr. Fauci needs to temper his media appetite a bit. He doesn't have to say yes to every interview. Now, that's not to say that he shouldn't do interviews at all, but unless he has something essential to say, he doesn't have to go on national television and talk about guesstimates because that doesn't exactly inspire confidence from people that may or may not be on the fence in terms of taking this vaccine. And also, Dr. Fauci can learn to say, I don't know sometimes, because again, this is a novel virus. It's an unprecedented situation. Sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. And instead, he speaks with such certitude on certain things, like saying, for instance, that the vaccine would not be available. He'd be virtually guaranteed it until many months into 2021. And here we are, two companies distributing that vaccine. So in the end, uh, Dr. Fauci uh, does a tremendous service to this country, uh, but he isn't perfect. And it's okay to criticize him once in a while because he too can get it wrong. He did receive some criticism from Senator Marco Rubio on Twitter. We can put that up here. He writes, quote, Dr. Fauci lied about masks in March. Dr. Fauci has been distorting the level of vaccination needed for herd immunity. It isn't just him. Many in elite bubbles believe the American public doesn't know what's good for them, so they need to be tricked into doing the right thing. My question is, is there something to be said for learning as we go? As you said, it's, it's a novel coronavirus. Even the top experts in the world had to learn some way along, somewhere along the way. No, sure. The World Health Organization said what Dr. Fauci said. Uh, Dr. Jerome Adams, uh, the Surgeon General, uh, said that masks uh, weren't necessary in March. Fauci later clarified, without apologizing, but did say that, well, I was only saying that because I wanted to protect frontline medical workers. I didn't want to run on masks, and that's why I said that. Uh, but again, w when you say these things and then later move the goalposts or have to correct things after a while, public confidence in, in as you said, an unprecedented situation, uh, it even gets more shaky. So, yeah, uh, we can learn as we go. And, and right now, even though we have two vaccines and we're 10 months into this thing, we still don't know everything about this disease or else we'd be able to explain why California in a lockdown has exploding cases and Florida, which is relatively open, uh, isn't doing relatively as badly. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, we're still learning, Alicia, no question. And I want to move on to something else here, because this ongoing battle between CNN and the Trump administration just saw one more blow by blow this past weekend. Take a listen to um, Jake Tapper this weekend. All right. There are some people that are such um, they're just so mendacious. I just wouldn't put them on air. Um, mm. uh, Kaylee McEnany, I, I never booked her. Uh, Jason Miller from uh, the Trump campaign. I would never book him. I mean, these are just people who just they just tell lies the way that you know most people breathe and there was no value in that um at kelly mcenany the white house press secretary did respond on twitter here's what she wrote this is a therapy session for a broken network and jake tapper is lazy enough to participate by lobbying baseless personal attacks with zero evidence jake's real problem i do not leak i do not lie but i do call out the lies of the media i.e cnn russia collusion hoax joe i mean we're what weeks away from a new administration and they're just going to walk out the door everyone's going to still be throwing punches yeah, I'm not understanding this. CNN had hired Kaylee McEnany as a political analyst before she became White House press secretary. And I would imagine that's because they respected her perspective and didn't think she had a problem with the truth because right. that would hurt the network's credibility. Oh, the bottom line is, and I'll leave it here, Jake Tapper used to book Michael Avenatti personally, somebody of Running questionable of character, time, Joe, Adam Schiff and Swalwell. Uh, we'll right it's, it's quite hypocritical. Thank you.